Hello, this is a quick video about, um, well, parsing shows, getting the legions and um, importing the legions into Titan in order to use it for other shows. So, well, I start again, start a new show. Here we go, and new show, okay. Honestly, I'm doing this with the um, simulator, but it doesn't matter. And I show you the version, which is version 10.1. Okay, now first we create something where we can um, make legions on. I could patch something, I could program it. I could simply just create some groups, like so, double click. Now we do a legion, set legion on the first one. And we do a picture. Uh, well, let's do this. It's the first one. And uh, enter. Okay. Then set legion for number two. Picture. Okay. I feel well. I'll show you something here. It's just a standard library in there. So I go on and do something like a little bit thicker. This is number two. I'm doing this with the touchpad here, that's why it doesn't look good. But anyway, okay. Set legion for number three. Picture. And another color. We do it in light blue and do a Roman. Three and then uh, then set legion number four picture now and say red okay uh, oops <laughs> this was me sorry clear. Oh no, eraser does job for us. Okay. This is something like a number four. And settledge number five. Picture. Ooh, another color. Green maybe. Green, okay. Again, Roman. V number five enter okay now we save the show go to save us and give it a name where we can find it again like legion number no just legions legions uh, and save yeah Okay, that's it. I mean, after this, it makes sense to close it because you are going to import it in order to use it on a console or somewhere else. So what you probably have in real life is next time you start, you have a blank thing and you start from scratch. That's why we close it. Okay. Next is we retrieve the show, which is in documents, Titan show files, and legions. And we need an internet connection to my little browser, um, parser, which is at awnotsde.downloads.d4 set. And well, you can upload an Avalite Titan show file to display patch information. This was what I did it for a couple of years ago when we didn't have the reports. But now there are reports in there, so we don't need the patch information anymore. But I added the Legion's functionality. I just place it there. I could go to um, choose file as well. So, but I have chosen it now. I need to do it again. So just place it there and click on parse. It uploaded the file. It's already there. It says show name legions, show software 
and it has five legions in there. DMX usage, it says patchless is only available for version older than version 10. Use the report function inside the Titan software instead. Okay, but what we want to do is we want to show the legions. And here are our legions which are in the show file. Um, don't be too disappointed if they look um, pixelated. They will become much better once, well, they will become original once we import it back into Titan. So it's only for the preview. What you need to do is, number one, you need, well, you can read through all these six steps here. You need this little thing, copy icon dot bat. In my browser, the browser security says, well, do you want to keep it or do you want to um, throw it away? Of course, I want to keep it because the browser says it's maybe dangerous. It's just a BAT, a batch file. Then we click on download legend number one, download legend number two, number three, number four, and download legend number five. That's it. So the legions have been extracted. Um, I could delete the show file if it's too much sensitive information in there. I just uh, enter the uh, capture code like 2FBHMG and click on delete show file. Yeah, and file doesn't exist, it has been deleted. I don't need the parser anymore, uh, but I should have, well, I have downloaded it, so <laughs> uh, I was a little bit too quick. I need my browser again. Stupid me, pardon me, sorry. Now we go to downloads, which is control J. Hello, uh -uh. okay. And here are our six files. So I click on show and folder. And here we go. It's the copy icons and these five files because I sorted it by date. And so control Z, go to the desktop, um, make a new folder there. name doesn't matter, open it and control V, it's in there. Now I double click on copy icons because what I really need to do is um, put the um, data into, now I need another window for this, um, into percentage sign app data which is a special Windows folder. Uh, Avalanche, Icon Library, Archive, and User, which is empty right now. So if I know this, I could go there by hand. But in order to make it easy for you, I wrote this little batch file and double click on Copy Icons. Yes, I want to execute it. And this is what it did. It just copied the files there. Copy to C, Users, Trendco, App Data, Eurowing, Evolutes. So you just need to know the, the path there. Hit any key, that's it. They have been imported right now. So let's see what happens in the simulator. Simulator, mobile. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. It should work on the simulator on the PC suite, on the Titan 1, as well as on real consoles. Um, I wrote a software in order to, well, find the correct path, which is different on real consoles. Titans being started. You see it's a German computer here, that's why it runs in German. I could have started it in English. Waiting, 
waiting, waiting, standing by for stand by. Here we go. Sometimes it takes a little while. Okay, and now we start again. We want to make a legend on something. Double click here in order to make a group. Set legend for this item picture. And now we go to the icon library. It takes a little while because it needs to in index. And now you have the tab imported. Go there. And here are our five imported legends, which from now on, on this computer, I can use for any show. That's what I wanted to show you. So we can just click on five. And here we go. Same what would be for set this legion for this workspace picture picture library number three and here we go yeah so everything goes via the show file browser thank you very much have fun.